Hey, what if I tell you that you can spend less than $100 and spend under one hour to create your own audiobook? Look, I don't just mean any AI voice or something that's pre-recorded or pre-made, but with your own voice. If we haven't met, it's Faye from Faye's World Media, and in this video, I want to show you how you can leverage a very powerful AI voice platform called Eleven Labs to create your very own audiobooks. Perhaps you're watching this video because you have authored your first or second book, but due to time and monetary constraints, it is not that easy to create your own audiobook, isn't it? Maybe this is a project you have put on hold for years. You're not alone. There's so many authors just like you who do not have the time or money or resources to create their own audiobooks. You may be wondering, well, Faye, look, with all the buzz around AI these days, there's so many tools out there. What do I have to consider to choose the right tool? Well, traditionally, you probably know that AI voice can be really bad. It sounds robotic, have absolutely zero emotions whatsoever. You wouldn't even want to attach your book, your content with something like that. The good news is that Eleven Labs really just knocked everybody out of the water. As soon as it was launched, it was just capturing everybody's attention, including Seth Godin in one of his episodes. The world found itself on the cusp of a new age, the age of artificial intelligence. Not only was this entire podcast written by ChatGPT, it wasn't even read by me. No, this is an AI of my voice, modeled by ElevenLabs.i. Oh. The only part that was me was the opening line. He sounded exactly like himself. Nobody could even tell until the very end of the episode. So I had to give Eleven Labs a shot. In this video, I want to show you step by step how you train your own voice using two different techniques. One is called instant voice cloning. By definition, you can create your voice right away with just minutes of your audio. Now there's something else that just came up with I'm so excited about. It's called PVC, so professional voice cloning. Now, if you're in the hurry uh, for your project, you might not want to consider that. However, PVC is so powerful, it's essentially indistinguishable to your own voice. So for you to sign up for Eleven Labs, it's really easy. I'll leave you to that. Once you get in, if you don't see the screen right away, where you want to start is called Speech Synthesis. So you're going to click on that and you will see this screen. As you can see, I already have my setting tuned into several of my cloned voices. And by the way, you may be wondering why I have multiple because I like to test out and actually create different variations. Our voices actually sound really differently depending on time of the day and how we're feeling in general. So I like to have something recorded where I'm a little perkier, happier, and something calmer. So this is entirely up to you. Obviously, you know, Eleven Labs comes packed with these pre-made voices for you to check out as well. Now, for you to add a new voice, all you have to do is click on add voice and here you have the options. Now I recommend that you start with something really quick and easy. So just click on the add sign and one that everybody uses and it can generate your voice cloning instantly is the second one called instant voice cloning. As you can see that all you need is just one speaker and over one minute long, not containing any background noise so that the voice uh, or the audio quality is really high. So if you're recording the audiobook and you want to use your own voice to start again, definitely choose instant voice cloning. I will show you that first. You can type in the name of the voice or like I said, perky or whatever it may be. You can just also call it, you know, V1, V2. And I'm going to call it V10 because I know I already have a few versions from here. All you have to do is upload a file just by dragging and dropping it right there. So let me go ahead and show you this one. You have up to 10 megabytes. And as you can see here, all my recordings are uh, actually of video and if you have videos and you want to simply extract audios from, it's pretty simple. I'm going to grab a file and I'm just going to open it up like so. And I am using QuickTime players. All I have to do is go to the file menu. And from here, I can just say export as audio only. And it won't take very long and you're going to get the audio file. So just like so and it's being exported and saved. It's pretty fast. And now you look at this file right now, it is still 18 megabytes. You can compress it down even more. You can actually chop it up. I like to use Podcastle. Again, you can use GarageBand. You can use Audacity. These are free uh, apps that you get. So I'm going to go into audio editor 
and I will drag and drop this audio file right here. It's going to upload pretty quickly, as you can see. What's also really neat about PodCastle is you have the ability to clean up the audio even further if you want to, um, but mine is actually pretty clear, so I'm just going to use it as is. Basically, just shrink it down. So all I need is, let's say, I don't know, four minutes maybe, right? It doesn't have to be exactly one minute. And from here, I just click on export. I have to wait a little bit for the project to be prepared before I can actually download it. You can see now uh, it went from gray to a black button. Now it's exporting and preparing the file for download. All right, so 4.5 megabyte, which is perfect. Now let me go to my download folder, drag this file right here. And now you can see is project one, 4.8 megabyte and I can add a description and I have to agree to the privacy policy. So now remember I added something like V10 and here it is. You see how fast it was? It was like 15 seconds. Now I can click on use. And from here, all you have to do guys is that you need to enter the text so you can copy a chapter of your book. I actually wrote a companion guide for 11 labs and I highly recommend that you check it out. I actually write in a very conversational tone. I hope this is something that can actually work. So let's go ahead and just drop some text in there. By the way, you know, you definitely want to test things out a bit because the way that you read your book could be different than the way you read your blog or how you record your podcast. Clearly you can use 11 labs for a variety of things that you can create, not just audiobooks. So with that said, let's go ahead and just copy these sections and see what happens. So right here, I did not exceed the character limit, which is 5,000. And all I have to do is click on generate. Don't get too frustrated yet about voice setting. I'm going to show you in a moment. By default, it's actually pretty good, but you can absolutely tweak it based on stability, clarity, similarity, enhancement. In one of our most popular blog posts, best AI voice generators, top three options, 2023. We talked about 11 labs being the best and most versatile AI voice generator of its time. Why? 11 labs preserves the vocal identity and delivery style of the original speaker, you. I just realized I don't have to listen to the whole thing. Guys, I gotta say this version compared to what I tested out six months ago is so much better. If you want to just like test things out, you don't need long paragraphs or, you know, but I just want to show you like by manipulating stability. So if I want to create a little bit more variety in my voice, like the way I'm speaking right now, just so that you can compare the way I naturally speak to what's going on here, it's a serious blog post. I get it. So I want to be a little more stable, but what if I actually just kind of change or tune down the stability? And also clarity, I kind of like it, uh, style exaggeration, maybe just a little bit, like a few percent. Let's see what happens now. I can click on generate again, and it's going to recalculate based on the new measurement. In one of our most popular blog posts, best AI voice generators, top three options, 2023, we talked about 11 labs being the best and most versatile AI voice generator of its time. Okay, there's a little exaggeration there. I actually like the original better. At any time you want to restore to default, just click on this button right here. And anytime you don't know what 11 Labs is talking about, you can just hover over the these info icons. You should also think about the voice you upload. You don't want something that doesn't feel like you. So even if it's your book, think about how you want the book to be read. And if you're not so sure about the quality of the submitted audio, simply listen it back a few times. I think the better or more original, more authentic, the audio voice you upload is the better the outcome is going to be. Um, so generating this, as I mentioned before, you know, you do have a 5,000 character limit. So it's not something that you can just throw your entire book or upload the PDF. So you have to stay organized And any moment that you're thinking about like the quota, what I have paid for this month, uh, how much more do I have to pay? Just see what you have remaining. And remember that every 1,000 additional uh, characters will cost 30 cents. There are also guys, partnerships and affiliates details. So I want to show you real quick. If you want to join the brand new 11 Labs affiliate program, now it's the time that you're watching the video and maybe it's already available. If it's not, just click on join the wait list. And in a couple of weeks times since the release of this video, this program is going to be wide open and I highly, highly recommend you check it out. And if you're a creator like me, it will be great to be able to introduce such a tool to your audience, to your community as well.
So after all of that, does it make sense for you to use 11 Labs or an AI voice platform to generate your audiobook? I understand I actually come from a traditional background. I really enjoy content creation. In my mind, this is something that I want to do for the rest of my life. So I understand that some of you probably will prefer if you had the choice to record the book, sit inside the studio, take your time, take a sip of tea and actually enjoy the process. Frankly, that would have been my first choice as well. But given the fact that we're going to make mistakes, recording manually takes a long time and working with an editor is kind of prohibitive for people with certain budget constraints, then AI voice uh, recorder, AI voice generator may be a good idea. You have to kind of weigh on the benefits, the pros and cons, your own comfort level, uh, your finance situation. So with that said, whoever's watching this, I know you're a creator, you're a speaker, you're an author. I want to send you positive vibes. I want to send you hugs because I really appreciate what you're doing. I know this journey isn't always trivial, isn't easy. I'm just here producing this video, hoping to make your day, your week a little bit easier, democratize technology and letting AI help us create more and better content. With that said, I'm going to see you in the next video right over here. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know in the comments below. It's going to help me create better work, help 11 labs understand what they can do better and answer your questions. I will see you next time.